Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am unboxing my March Boxy Charm. I'm going to do this video a little bit different today because I have the items that are in my box. I also grabbed a couple of things in add-ons. So as we go through the box, I'm going to apply the things that I either got in the box or that I got in add-ons. So if that sounds interesting, just keep watching. Starting with the card and information about BoxyCharm. If you are not familiar, it is a subscription box. Every month, the cost for the base box is $27.99. You get five full-sized items. You get to choose one of the items, and then the others will be skincare or makeup. It's a surprise every month. There are different variations for every person. And then my favorite thing is that you get to go into what's called Drop Shop, and you get to purchase a bunch of things at a deep discount. So. Honestly, that's kind of what keeps me with BoxyCharm because there's usually at least one or two things in the box that I like, but then I love shopping in that drop shop. So the card theme for this month, there's always a theme. It says Game Changer, celebrating game changers and boss babes in honor of Women's History Month. Yay. So as you can see, my brows are on. Got a little bold today, that's okay. And of course, everything that I have on my face, I'm not gonna apply my whole face on camera, but I do have quite a bit. Everything that I got in the BoxyCharm and that is also on my face will be listed in the description box below, as well as additional information about BoxyCharm because there are different boxes that you get. I get the least expensive one, which is the base box. The first thing I'm gonna to apply to my face is the one that I might be the most excited about. This is the Ren. Perfect Canvas Clean Primer. Now this is something that I got in the drop shop and I was so excited because this was in my cart at Sephora for a long time and I ended up taking it out of my cart because it's a $45 primer, but I had heard good things about it. My sunblock that I use on my face is also from Ren. And it says here, minimize the appearance of pores, maximize makeup, a silicone free clean primer that smooths skin, holds on to makeup for long lasting wear. Clean primer plumps, mattifies, and minimizes fine lines to dramatically improve skin's smoothness, creates a perfect base for long lasting makeup. Skin boosting extracts help balance good bacteria, promoting a healthy microbiome on your skin's surface. And I paid $15 for it. Let's hope it's good. Pretty peach glass packaging. I'm not sure it has a scent. I'm gonna do the Instagram dropper thing here. It's a little on, what does it feel like? It feels like a gel. I have no idea if I added enough, if I did it right, but we're gonna give it a minute to set and my fingers are crossed. Always looking for the best primer. Now we're gonna get back to the card because the first item that I have here is Studio Makeup. This is a tinted moisturizer with a light to medium coverage formulated with hyaluronic acid to combine hydrating skincare benefits with lightweight coverage and a glowy look. If you know me, this is not my kind of product, number one. Number two, I've already gotten this product. So this BoxyCharm, you lose a star for this one. Not only have I gotten this one before, they sent me a different shade. So this one is much darker. I have no idea how this is gonna look on my face, but we're gonna try it. The lighter one I gave to my mother and I asked her, she said it is okay. But we're gonna try. Because it's a tinted moisturizer, a lot of times one color will span across a few different skin tones. So yeah, super glowy. I'm glad I had this primer on. I like my skin to look healthy, but this is just positively glowing. Like, this just makes me think oily. I'm gonna try to build it up just a little bit on the places that I need extra coverage, like here. redness along my cheeks. 
I'm going to add some concealer and powder and I'll be right back. I am back. I threw a little concealer, powder, bronzer, and lip products on. And if you haven't seen my latest video with New from ColourPop, I'll be sure to link it. I tried out these duos that have the pencil on one end and the color on the other. The second one that I used has broken on me. So. Stay tuned for my faves and fails, but you can imagine where this is going. ColourPop does things so well, but these lip products are <laughs> back to boxy charm. Can you tell I'm in a mood? It is rainy and dark. I need some happiness. I need some happiness, and I think this is going to do it. The next thing we're going to talk about on this card is the Ofer Cosmetics Charm Your Cheeks Mini Mix Blush Palette. The six pan palette is long wearing, and retails for $39. So let's take a look. This was one of my choices. I think the other choice that I had was skincare, and they've been sending me a lot of skincare on their own. So for my choice, I chose this product. And this is what the palette looks like. I've got some beautiful shades to choose from here. I wanna go with this pretty peachy colored one. Oh, that is pretty. I've never tried an Ofra blush before. I've had highlights, I've had eyeshadows. But that is gorgeous. And they are very pigmented. I went on light handed. So, just to show you, I'm very drawn to this shade down here. It's like a nice brown color. this one you can't go wrong with gorgeous making your way back into my graces boxy charm the next three products are skincare related the first one is this one here from aceology detoxifying treatment mask it's a supercharged health retreat for congested skin working to draw out blackheads and impurities and clear clogged pores with skin loving charcoal this one retails for $69 now this one I will use absolutely I like to use something like this once a week that is very pretty packaging it's a squeeze tube so nothing goes to waste i like that the next one is a hair mask this one says style dry coconut and fig hair mask this super hair mask is enriched with coconut oil and miramiru butter for healthy hydrated and glossy hair retails for 16.95 i might use this i always forget to use hair masks i'll do a face mask but i always forget to use hair masks but I will try and coconut and fig. I'm gonna smell it. it. Smells good. It smells very nice. And then the last thing we have, maybe this wouldn't be considered skincare. It is skincare because it's a makeup remover. It's Vike Beauty Makeup Melt. A makeup removal spray with skincare benefits. Makeup Melt has four key antioxidants to nourish your hair after removal, leaving your skin bright, clean, and renewed. No wipes or pads needed retails for $24. Didn't, I believe Patrick Starr has a product like this, or at least he did. I've never tried it. I would worry that it would get in my hair. But we're going to test this mister out, if I can get it open. Can't say I love the smell, but it's not super strong. So in add-ons or the drop shop, I picked up the Ren primer, $45 primer for $15. So yay for that. I picked up this Saturday Skin Eye Cream. I get a lot of my skincare on BoxyCharm because you can get really nice products at an inexpensive price. Which if you remember, I got it in my February box, but I don't mind having two. Retailed for $32, I got it for $12, which is nice. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation retails for $44 and I got it for $18. The next thing that I got was this beautiful palette from Ace Beauté. This is their Floral Vintage Palette. This one retails for $49 and I got it for nine. Now, strike two for BoxyCharm was that I also ordered a beautiful purple palette from Viseart. I've heard some wonderful things about it. Viseart is a very expensive brand. I have a few of their palettes and their shadows are gorgeous. I did not get it. And according to BoxyCharm, I did. So we're going back and forth about that right now. Hopefully I get some resolution. But for today, I'm going to do an eye look using this 
gorgeous palette from Ace Beauté. Got lots of colors. It is a little bit on the large side, but I just couldn't pass up such a good price. I'm gonna grab my Unit 309 and I'm gonna go in with this Daffodil shade first. And we're just gonna do an easy eye look. That is a light shade on my skin tone, but maybe we can build it up. If you can see glitter on my face, that's because I had glitter on earlier, and it was a hip dot glitter, which is a very large glitter, and every time I wear it, I have a heck of a time getting it off my face. But it's beautiful. I'm gonna go into this dandelion next. How cute are the names? I'm just gonna use the same brush because I wanna deepen it up. So now we're going into dandelion and I'm just sort of focusing it in the outer crease and then just dragging it around. Same thing on the other side. Ooh, pretty. I'm going to go into, is that pronounced calendula? I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I do not know that word. I am not good with flowers. My flower experts tell me if I need to Google that. Calendula? Wow, I like it. It is a very pretty peachy gold, which is right up my alley. Pretty. Going back into the crease. Shimmers feel nice. I'm gonna go neutral on the bottom and I'm gonna take this Antler Orchid, which looks like a nice warm brown. We'll see what it looks like on the eye. You can still see a little black liner on my eye as well. Sorry about that. It was probably my Patrick Ta. I have a heck of a time getting that liner off my eyes. It stays, but woo, does it stay. I try to be gentle with my eyes. Oh, that looks pretty. Let's try Globe Thistle. Ooh, pretty. These shadows are nice. I haven't used my Ace Beauté palette in a while. I do have one in my, if you're watching my Get Lucky in March series that I've been doing, doing green every Wednesday for the month of March. I do have an Ace Beauté palette in there, but it's a random number that's picking the palette, so <laughs> maybe I'll get to use it. And we just need to blend that out. I'm going back in with that original crease brush and blending that deeper brown into that pretty, I think it was Daffodil, right? Dandelion. Daffodil was the first one. I'm gonna stop right there, but this is a beautiful palette. I'm gonna throw some liner and mascara on and I'll be right back with the total of my box and my final thoughts. I am back. I put some liner, mascara, little inner corner highlight. The retail value of the box is $183.95. Final thoughts on the box. The Aceology treatment mask I will absolutely get a use of the makeup melt, we shall find out, the hair mask, we shall find out. The number one thing in my box was this right here, and that is this Ofra blush palette. I think it is beautiful. It retails for $39, so right here I've gotten my money back and I am pleased about that. I'm definitely disappointed about this. Uh, I got it before, I don't like it. Uh, I'll be honest, I will not put it on again. It feels greasy, it feels heavy. Uh, even my wet and wild powder that I love so much, I still, I'm just not loving my complexion. As far as the add-ons from the drop shop, I am excited to continue playing with this primer. I do not think that this combination worked out the best. I'm gonna try this with my more long wearing, uh, mattifying foundations. I am happy with my Charlotte Tilbury foundation. The only thing I'm disappointed about is I got a shade that is too light, but that is okay. I have darker shades of foundation. I can use it more as a mix-in. 
I enjoyed the little sample of that, so I'm happy to have a full size at a great discount. I love this palette. I think that this Ace Beauté palette is gorgeous if you can get your hands on it. I would recommend it. It's got some beautiful shades. I know I only played with a few today, but I am definitely thinking, I mean, look at that black, that is gorgeous. It is a highly pigmented, beautiful brand that I am familiar with. So do I recommend BoxyCharm? Yes. Am I disappointed with my box this month? Yes. So take that as you will. Let me know how you liked the format of this video. Did you like me sort of jumping around as I applied on my face or would you rather me just stick to the box and then get into the add-ons? Give me your thoughts in the comments. Let me know, do you get BoxyCharm? Did you get different items in your box this month? Are you interested in getting BoxyCharm? With everything in the description box below, I will have information about BoxyCharm as well. If you do sign up using the link that I have, I don't get any money. I think I get points towards discounts on products, so totally up to you. That's everything for today. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to have you join me. I post videos three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Make sure if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up and always leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. Have a great day. I will see you in my next video.